Exciting news from SmartSuite when they unlocked new formulas inside of their software. We can calculate things that we couldn't even dream of before, and this is really unlocking new potential for us inside of SmartSuite. If you weren't already using SmartSuite to manage your projects, this might be the piece that converts you because it is unlocking awesome new potential that we are gonna cover here. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth and this is Gap Consulting, where we help you to organize and automate your processes with no code tools. SmartSuite is one of our favorite no code softwares. And in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down some of their new formulas and the use of those formulas so that you can get more out of the software. Before we get into it though, I first want to invite you for some automation training. If you're new to no code, automation is one of those core skills that applies to all tools, SmartSuite included. And we have a tool agnostic training for no code automation to teach anyone the basics. So check it out. Sign up at gapconsulting.io slash webinar dash registration. I'll include links wherever you found this video. But without further ado, let's hop on into SmartSuite. Here I am in my own account and I'm gonna be using a template as we build this together. If you wanna follow along, feel free to download the template. I will also include links wherever you found this, but I'm gonna go into add a new solution and I'm gonna start with a template and I am looking for the project management template. And this is a great place to start if you're not already using SmartSuite in your project management. So I'm just gonna install this template. It takes just a second or two to, to deliver that right into my SmartSuite account. And once we're set, now I'm gonna have all of this dummy data here. As you see, I've been assigned to the project manager for a lot of different things. Specifically though, I'm gonna flip into my deliverables table. Here I am in deliverables and I'm gonna go down by deliverables by project. And I'm gonna scroll all the way over here where we have open items. Now, this is a particularly unique field type to SmartSuite where we get to create a checklist inside of any items. So every new deliverable that gets added to our system here is going to start with the default checklist. So if we flip over to defaults, we see there are six different components that are gonna be added to a checklist here for every new record. And we can click into these checklists to see if they're completed, add new items. We can also hover over here to assign these checklist items to people and enter due dates. Now these components have already existed inside of SmartSuite, but I have to start here because if you're new to the tool, this particular field might seem a little foreign to you. So now that we understand how this works, we can go ahead and actually with the new formulas, get more insight from these fields than we could before. So for example, maybe I wanna know how many open items there are in a particular checklist and I wanna be able to know this at a glance. Sure, I can look at each of these records and see that two of the six are completed and do the math in my head, but wouldn't it be easier if I just had a formula output giving me that information? Or maybe I wanna know how many of these items are overdue or how many are assigned to a particular teammate. I can now do this with the new checklist count function. Now, before we get into it, I'm gonna drill into this particular open item and I'm going to assign some of these to me. I'm gonna assign three of these different items to myself, and I'm gonna give them due dates. I'm filming this as of February 1st, so I'm gonna pick one of these items due tomorrow, one of these items due yesterday, and one of these items due sometime next week. You can see that by default here, because this is an overdue task, it is highlighted in red. This is also going to be updated in the My Work section inside of SmartSuite. Here in the upper right corner, if I open up My Work, I see all of the different tasks that are assigned to me over all of the different pieces that I'm working on inside of SmartSuite. As this is a demo account, none of those tasks are actually real for me, but we're gonna be able to use these now that they've been assigned to me in our formula. So the first thing we need to do is create the new field. And this is gonna be a formula field type. I'll make the selection here. And let's suppose, just to start things out, we just wanna count how many items there are in total. So this will be total checklist items. 
and I'm going to go down to the advanced editor here, and I'm going to use this new formula called checklist count. Now you see when I make this selection, here's the syntax. I have to refer to a checklist field. That's my first component. And then after that, I can establish my criteria to this particular count. And so if I have specific criteria that I want to incorporate, I can include them here. But for our first example, I just want to count the total number in the field. So our particular field is called open items. That's our checklist field. I will use this without including any criteria. Add the field here, and we are going to see that it counts out six items. And we know that to be true because that is the total number of items in each of these checklists. So far, so good, but we can get more granular. Let's suppose I want to know how many of these are assigned to me. Let's add a new field. Again, we'll go with a formula field type here, and these will be assigned to Gareth. And we will go with the advanced editor. Again, I'm finding the checklist count function here. And I will refer first to our open items checklist and then follow that with a comma. Now it's time to build those criteria. So in our example, I'm going to refer to the checklist again. And I only want to look at the checklist items assigned to me. Now, this is a thing that's a bit unique to SmartSuite is the fact that their formulas use dot syntax. So if you've never used this before, it's pretty simple to get started. What we need to do is refer to an element inside of the checklist. For us, the checklist again is in open items. I can plug that in here. And because I want to access information inside of the checklist, I immediately follow this with a period. Now we see these are the fields inside of the checklist that we can access, the person it's assigned to, whether or not it's completed, and when the due date is for this particular checklist. In our case, we're looking for those items that have been assigned to me. So I can use this. Now this component right here, open items dot assignee, just as it's written right here, this is now looking at the assignee component inside of the open items checklist. Now, if that is equal to me, I want to count it. If it's not, I don't care. So what we do here is we say equals, and then inside of quotation marks, we type out the name of the person that we are looking to find. So now I can add this field. And just to make it a little bit easier to read, I might drop this criteria down on the second line. So what I'm doing is counting the open items where it exists that the open item is assigned to Gareth. Let's go ahead and add the field. And just like that, we have our next formula that is showing us that in this particular case, we have three different checklist items assigned to me. We can go in and confirm that that is the case. And we can go into some of the other checklists and maybe assign some of these as well. Whether they are completed or not does not matter. I now have two of these components selected and assigned to me. And that's the number we see in our formula. We can get even more creative, though. Let's go a layer deeper and make sure that we're counting those things that are not completed but are overdue. Can we do this? You better believe it. We're going to add a new formula here. Plug this in, and this will be incomplete and overdue. Advanced editor. And again, we're going to refer to that checklist count. Here it is. Plug it in. Now we, again, have to first say, where are the elements that we want to count? They live in the open items checklist. And again, to make this easier to read, we're going to break it down and put our criteria on the next line. And uh, I need to, of course, include a comma after I refer to the checklist here. So now on the second line, I'm going to build my first criteria. That is, they are not complete. Well, I can bring in open items again and use that dot syntax that we mentioned before. And here's where I have access to the completed status inside of the checklist. So I can plug this in. And what I'm looking for is an item that is incomplete. Therefore, it's not marked off as complete or false. Completed equals false. Make sure that you are lowercase here. If you try to use all capitals, it is not going to properly read your syntax. So this, again, I can add this down to the next line. And let's stop right here and save this formula to make sure that it's working as we plan. 
So we are looking right now at any open items that are not complete. Let's update the field. And we will see that we have a count here of zero because all 100 are done. A count here of four because four remain. A count here of four, a count here of three, etc. But I also want to count only those that are incomplete and overdue. If we go into here, for example, we see that there is one particular task on the checklist that was yesterday, due yesterday, so therefore overdue. That's what I want to count, not all of those things that are coming up. So let's go back into our function, and we can add a condition here that and open items, again with our dot notation, this time we want to look at that due date is less than now. And just to make things a little bit simpler to read again, I will drop this down on the next line. So these two components are going to now be working in tandem. I want to count the items that are incomplete and that were due before today. Let's go ahead and update the field and we will now see that we are properly calculating that output. So only one of the items here is overdue and not yet complete. If I mark it as complete, it's now done and therefore no longer overdue in the same sense. And so we see that the formula refreshes. So think about all the ways that you can use this information to better manage your projects. We could now build dashboards that incorporate all of the different components that we have here so that we can see how how many different tasks are coming due in the next few days? How many things are overdue? Are people overburdened on our team? All of this is now capable thanks to these formulas that we can incorporate into charts and graphs and other types of reporting. I hope you got a ton of value from this video. This is only one of many different functions that SmartSuite just released. So do swing on by and check out all the new components that they now have. And in the meantime, my friend, keep on building.